So much has changed since the last time we saw this. Hello everybody, Big Planes here, and today this is the update number 10, I believe, of the custom Saturn V. Now, at first, you may not notice too much of a difference here, but a whole lot of work has gone into building this thing. I'm going to start off down here, down with the first stage, and in my last video, I got a comment saying that the first stage was too small, that this should be a little larger. And I did do some research into that, and I did realize that that person was correct. I don't really know the name of the person that made the comment, but whoever it was, it was correct. This first stage should have been taller. So what I did is, it may not be too evident at first, but I moved these stripes here up. They used to be down here. I moved them up by two more. So the first stage got a little bit taller. It's not super noticeable until you compare this with some photos from before and you realize, well, oh yeah, that, that's a lot more proportionally correct. So yeah, that's the first thing that I did with the first stage. When I made the first stage taller, I did not want to make the rocket taller. So I actually took some of this white stuff away from the second stage and moved it down here to the first stage. Moving further up on the second stage, you will notice that there are two layers of these grills now. There used to only be one layer, now there's two of them. They may not be super evident at first, but it is pretty noticeable later on. And one of the largest changes that I put a lot, a lot of time and effort into is this area up here. It's kind of hard to see it with this, but as you remember, there used to be big gaps between these pieces, and this used to be studs. These used to be the, the wedge plates, I believe the 3 by. 12 wedge plates and now they're not they're just the standard well they're not standard at all but i wanted to show you the technique i use so what i did here is this one's popping out a bit but what i did is i took these i took these curved slopes and angled them and then i i'm going to fill that in later on but then i put these slopes here and they fit in there pretty nicely it's hard to see it with the black ones but you can see the design that i sort of use there and i really like this i sort of used that at first way up here and then I thought that hey why don't I bring that in down here so that took a lot of designing to figure that out because that was a whole new design that was required for that but I really think that that looks a lot just a lot sleeker it's not as annoying as the other one it used to be the other one stuck out a lot and had those huge gaps between it so I really think that that adds a lot to it as we move further up one of the largest changes that has been made to the Saturn V is up here in the third stage now at first just just like with the rest of it you may not notice it and especially on a camera I sort of hit it last time but what was really bothering me is that I didn't know if I showed you this before this mostly here uses panels now these are the panels they're super cheap it allows you to build a lot very quickly and I think it looks really good they're the what I think they're four or three by four panels and yeah, they, that allowed me to build a lot up really cheap. I remember putting that in one of my videos on how to build things for really cheap. Using panels can be very useful, but I did not anticipate what it would look like up here. I used panels up here originally. Sorry, camera, camera slipping. I used panels up here originally, and something happened that I wasn't expecting to happen. One, it was really weak, and you could, like, crush this. But the other thing was, since this is a narrower circle it's had the radius is not as large on this as it was down here the panels worked down here perfectly fine but up here once i put them up here i noticed that when i would sit on the couch you can see right through this especially since this is in front of the window the panels are so thin that you could see right through it and that really bugged me because you're not supposed to see through the saturn 5 right so in the last update i'd actually put a piece of paper on the inside there that's sort of cheating and i know it but that's sort of what i did there and another thing that you can do, and this is what I sort of did last time, is you take pictures from different angles. But you could also see, sorry, down here you can see how this would slightly see those little bumps there. Well, up here that was really noticeable. So, this took a lot of effort on my part, but what I did was I took the bricks that were down here, I re replaced these, these are the panels that used to be up there. Since the first stage is using bricks, I took the panels that were up here, and I moved them down here and I took the bricks that were down here and moved them up here and that's how I got that to be a bit more solid you can see that this is now made out of bricks instead of panels whereas this one's made out of panels and now you can't see right through it anymore it's a lot it's a bit more solid and it looks a little better it's not as see-through as I'm gonna say as the other ones so I think that really turned out a lot better and it just really adds a lot to it I also added some greebling here along the sides in doing my updates, I have gained one inch, so now we only have four inches of ceiling clearance way up there at the top. So yeah, that's not leaving me a lot of room for the launch tower. But I'm happy to say now the Saturn V is very close to being done. It's 
basically done. I'm, I've stopped buying parts for it, and I'm now focusing my attention completely on the launch tower. I think this looks a lot better than it did before. I've been sort of improving it, ugh, it over the past few days now, and I'm going to keep improving it. There are still some things that bug me, but I am pretty happy with it. Now, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. All the proportions are dead on. That's where I need to fix some stuff down here, but after I fix that, all the proportions are dead on. You can hold this drawing up here and match it directly to this thing right here. So it's all the proportions are right on the mark, and it's really it's really heavy, it's really big, and I'm really happy with it. So I really need to start spending some money on the launch tower now. Many, many months ago, I did a video on this little Saturn V right here, which is over by my lunar landscape. But yeah, this is also proportionally correct. I'm going to pull it off here so we can sort of get a little glimpse at it Ugh, like this. That fell off. But yeah, I did a video on this and it's pretty much correct. And this is something else that I use to compare the proportions on this rocket. You can hold this up and get pretty close to what it should be. Eh, see? So that's something that I'm really happy with on this one. And I did do a video on this, though it's not doing too great, but I do understand this is pretty boring. And I want it to one-up it a bit, which is why I'm building this thing. So hopefully I can start building the launch tower here. And I know I keep saying that, but just do remember this thing is going to be very big. And just by looking at this, you can see that it's about three times the size of the base of the rocket. So that means it's going to be from like here to there and go out to here and go all the way back to there. So this thing is going to be massive and that's something that I wouldn't really realize until I started building it. And this is going to be really big, but I have started designing it and I am trying to think of ways to get this done for relatively cheap. And I'm thinking about using a lot of those panels. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull off tiling it yet because I could just use these two by two tiles in dark gray like I'm using here, but those are going to cost a lot of money and I am not rich. <laughs> Though this may look like it, I have used utilized panels which have allowed me to build a lot in a short period of time with a limited budget. So the launch tower is going to be very big, though I hope to be able to build it in the next couple weeks. I might take a week off from building this just because I am like drained of money and I need to save some for the launch tower. And I do have other things in my life I need to spend money on with my limited cash flow. So that's going to be interesting. But... Yeah, this is, I'm really excited with the Saturn V. I was sort of interested to see if it would actually be able to hold itself up because a lot of times these things will collapse in on themselves, especially something that's nine feet tall. I didn't know how it would work. So that's going to be interesting. And to end this video off, I know this video is running a bit late, but to end this video off, I'm also thinking about putting in some fog machines here. Now I was going to save this for the final video, but I'm just going to let it let it loose now so everybody knows what I'm doing. But there are little fog machines that you can purchase. And since these things would have this mist coming down, I think it was either nitrogen or water or something. I, I'm not overly, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I'm sure somebody in the comment section who is will tell us. But yeah, I want to install those right here and have this mist flowing down. I'd rather it not be dry ice, but I'll figure out something to do. Some sort of fog machine. And yeah, that'll look really cool when it's hooked up to the launch towers. So... I don't really want to run this video too much longer. It's all I really had to update you for this one. A lot of work has been done here, and I am very happy with it. So as always, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel to never miss a build like this and a video like this. I do them quite frequently. So that's very something that's to look forward to. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm, this video is running a bit long, so that's all for this one. Bye for now.